Hi, I'm Roy Adiel and I'm a Cloud Solution Architect here at Veeam. I'm very excited to be here today and to talk to you about Veeam Backup and Replication and Veeam Backup for AWS. As backup becomes more and more important due to cybersecurity threats and recovery from ransomware attacks, it's important to keep your entire environment secure. Did you know that 85% of the organizations reported that they've experienced at least one ransomware attack in the last 12 months? 85%. Veeam offers the best in class backup solution, and it doesn't matter if it's on prem, hybrid, or in the cloud. We help our customers to stay protected and give them the ability to recover quickly when in need. In this quick video, I would like to focus on connecting Veeam Backup for AWS and Veeam Data Platform version 12. Why are they better together? What are the benefits of connecting those? And lastly, I'll run a demo to show how easy it is to connect both. So let's start with Veeam Data Platform version 12. This new release gives additional abilities with direct-to-object and immutability that are very useful with the connection to AWS S3 and utilizing S3 object lock for backing up your data, assuring it's immutable, secure, and resilient. With this new version, customers can now backup directly into object. It means that they can directly backup into AWS S3 and use the different S3 tiers, which will be translated to be more cost-effective simple and reliable. If you are new to Veeam Backup for AWS, this marketplace deployable software can help you protect your EC2 environment, as well as backing up RDS databases, Elastic File Storage, or more familiar as EFS, and even backup your virtual private cloud, so your VPCs configurations. So in this case of need, you'll have the capability to restore or recover anywhere cross-account, cross-region, and even cross-platform in some cases. Connecting Veeam Backup for AWS with Veeam Backup and Replication makes it easy to control your hybrid environment from a single pane of glass. It means that you can see your applications, your backup that you're running in the Veeam Backup for AWS from your VBR console. You have the ability to restore instances and even deploy new Veeam backup for AWS appliances from the VBR console. Also, this connection gives the ability to centralize backup configuration into one platform, another way of simplifying the management of your backup environment. After we talked about all the capabilities and features, let's move to a quick demo of how to connect Veeam backup and replication and Veeam backup for AWS. The prerequisite for this demo are to have AWS account with Veeam Backup for AWS deployed, Veeam Backup and Replication Server version 12 installed, and have the AWS plugin for VBR installed on the VBR server. So now let's go and connect Veeam Backup for AWS into Veeam Backup and Replication. At the moment, I'm connected to the console of Veeam Backup for AWS. And if I'll go to configuration, settings, configuration backup, I can see that I have some local configuration backups that were done, but at the moment we're not connected to Veeam backup and replication. So I can create and restore configuration here. If I want to go and establish that connection, I will go to my VBR and in manage servers, I will go and add a new server in this server, I will go and choose Veeam Backup for AWS. After I install the plugin, of course, I will connect to an existing appliance or I have the ability to deploy a new appliance. Hit next. I will choose my AWS account. I will choose my region, it's global, and the data center that it's sitting on. Hit next. I will then go and find the EC2 instance that has and running VBA and we'll select it, hit next, connection type, uh, whether it's direct connection, the credentials to log in into Veeam Backup for AWS, hit next again. 
and then it will show me the repositories that are available. If they're not already added, which I did before, it will try to add them to our external repositories. I'll hit apply and it will go and make that connection. So this will take a few seconds to establish. And once this is established, what we'll have is that we'll have the ability to back up the configuration as part of the backup and replication configuration. So it finished with some errors that on repositories that already exist. I'll hit next and finish. And now I have my VBA appliance connected to my VBR. So if I'll go here, I can see this. I have the option to open the console from here, restore configuration, or of course view the properties that we've just set up. But in addition, now what I can see is that the external repositories here are the ones that are coming from my Veeam backup for AWS. Now, if we would like to see the configuration, now the configuration backup is being done as part of the entire backup of Veeam backup and replication. So if I'll go back to my Veeam backup for AWS configuration, and I will go back to the configuration backup again, we can see that now the configuration backup is being managed by the Veeam backup and replication, and we don't have the ability to set this up from here. If you would like to get more information on how to connect to VBR and VBA, please refer to the integration with Veeam backup and replication guide that can be found on veeam.com. Hey, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on my next video.